I'm in Cusco's um, chocolate museum. Jeffrey's going to attend a chocolate making class, and this is their museum. They opened several in several places in South America and Central America. And first of all, the smell is just incredible. They make their own chocolate here that they sell every day, fresh. So th these are the fresh. These are the fresh chocolates. Look at the fresh chocolates, and they pack it every single day. It smells great. We're roasting our cocoa beans. You need to stir the beans so they don't burn on the stove. Yes. Not too fast, just just right, not too fast. Now they're going to sit and roast the beans. They're going to roast the beans. Ah, oh, you have to smell the smell. It smells in incredible. I see. Yes. But in, in, if you use the metallic pot, you can roast it also in the metallic pot, but you're burning more easily beans. Yeah, you can. Okay, so they use the clay pot because they're, it doesn't burn the beans, which is an important factor. Some of these are too hard to crack. Very difficult, yeah. You need a mortar and a pestle. Yeah, it's not simple to crack these beans. <laughs> but these beans are really great to eat too. Yes. So, so by roasting, you reduce the bitterness and you take the shell, the shelling out. So the flavor of the beans is no more like a bean; it's more strong chocolate. So for these three reasons, we need to roast in the cup. So it makes us, um, Jeffrey grinding. This is the third step. Um, we are here, this is the uh, grinding stage, this is 100% chocolate right yes. here. So usually, it's a little bit bitter and it has a little banana taste. Very good. Pop, the beans are starting to pop. Uh, check out this very particular, very uh, smart Peruvian pot. It's a clay pot, has holes and on the side. Canalla. Canalla. Canalla it's a quechua language, but if you listen this word in Espanol, it's not a good word. It's like insult. I see. <laughs> well, in many languages, um, it's, it's different. Okay, so you're going to hear popping the beans pop when they're ready. The beans are ready now, they're roasted. And the next step is the window, and we need to peel. But before yeah. you peel, we, we will wash your hands. Yes. So yes, please. Peeling the beans. Oh, okay. So use this for the shell and this for the nest. Okay. Using a pasta and a mortar to grind and make powder, cocoa powder, after roasting. Yeah. So to grind it, yes, he had a mortar and a pistol, yeah. Jeffrey's getting the hang of it with the mortar and the pistol. Jeffrey is grinding it into a paste, all these cocoa beans, um, yeah. The paste, after you finally grind it and you develop a lot of muscle, this is the actual paste. You get a very little paste out of all these um, ground. Jeffrey loves hot chocolate. So from this paste, you can actually use it for tea or for hot chocolate. Gladys here is an incredible resource. Um, she's a great um, explainer and teacher and a very patient person. 
quite an asset to this chocolate museum in Cusco. We're making chocolate milk here out of the ground beans and you can, you can mix it with chili, we can, you can mix it. Yes. So they're very healthy. It made you happy, it made you love. It's, it's, uh, it's good if you have, for example, bad your stomach ache. Yes. Good for digestion, good for... Yes. Okay. So that's why we used to use the shells. And this is your tea. For you, please. Thank you so much. And if you smell the flavor... What does it smell like? Like a chocolate. Like a chocolate. That's it, what yes. you call chocolate tea. It smells like hot chocolate. Yeah. But it's tea. Yes. Be careful because it's hot. It's yes. hot. Yes. It tastes like hot chocolate as well. I can't believe it's tea. But I add a little bit sugar to reduce the bitterness. Yes, because it's bitter. usually the shell is bitter. Right. And I add a little bit sugar to reduce the bitterness. Just yeah. Okay? So we made, what do we make with this? We will drink that. Yeah. Okay. After the tea, we will drink <laughs> Oh, and that's the honey that you're... This is the honey. Your honey is very liquid. And this is because now this is hot. I Usually see. Here I it's see. Very, very thick. And yes, it is. In yes. Boiling water. Uh, the boiling water. Or do double boiled. Uh, it's double boiled. Milk, yeah. and she put it in. So we have a uh, chocolate paste. We have cloves, cinnamon, and milk. And now you will use this stick. Yeah. And with this stick, you, you mix it. Okay. Look how you you use it. I get it. Gentle. Here, the object you need to make hot and hot. And if you want to get hot, you need to sink. That's the same. We will sink with you if we know the sound. Come on. I, I'm going to help. You know, Jim, but you know No, I know sink. I know how to put sink. But this is whisking, basically. I'm sorry. I know how to put sink. What's my friend? No. <laughs> 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 this species, they are mixing, refining, and crunching. Okay? And inside, you will find these two stems. And these stems are called granito. So these stems are mixing, refining, and crunching. Yes? So mixing what? Mixing the sugar with the paste. So after grinding, the paste comes directly here to mix it with the sugar. And also to refine it. Because if we don't refine it, you will fill the grains. So that's why we need to mix it very well and refine it very well. So do you have an idea how many hours we need to do this stuff? How uh, many hours we need to do Four hours. More than four hours. Six hours? 24 hours. After 24 hours, this is the molding stage, the final stage you put. Uh, Jeffrey's choosing the ingredients to put in his chocolate. That, that four ingredients. And then he's going to mold his chocolate into the sun god. So it's it's a layering process, I think. You need a little bit, and then you, you put another layer and another layer. Now, just chocolate, and in the end of the chocolate, the powders. And in the end, you need to mix with your stick. Oh, just mix. Oh. And yes. also, if you use the cinnamon, use your stick to put the powder in your mouth like this. Not like this. Yeah, because it will be too cinnamony. Mixing the ingredients. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so they made the molding. And now he's going to put the final ingredients on the top. Adding the coconut flavor and the cinnamon flavor on top of the chocolate. Jeffrey's a huge fan of coconut. So he's making sure he's putting a lot of it. On top, now you mix them all uh, to make sure that you have the flavor all in.
we're taking a lesson at how to make your own chocolate at the Chocolate Museum in Cusco. Chocolate Museum started off as a concept in Nicaragua and has expanded to many countries around Central America and South America. Great programs for families and kids and adults of all ages um, to how to make your own chocolate.